Well, well, well. Bring in the lanky man. Oh, oh Jesus. I need you. Lanky man is going to need you. Is this going to be the ball? Yeah. Smooth good fix. Join us on this bushcraft adventure into history, building an Irish Celtic roundhouse from the Iron Age and medieval times. And stay tuned for the medieval living experience, continuously staying in the roundhouse for 60 days without smartphone, internet or grocery store. Nice one. And only with historically accurate clothing and gear. Starting off in May, subscribe and turn on notifications. Enjoy. This massive guy, eh? Yeah, I'm not impressed, man. <laughs> yeah, I think it's an axe job. I mean, half of it can be done with the axe and then the bucks off fits in. And this massive part that is just dangling onto this here. So like the moment you go mess in there, this whole wave is gonna is, is gonna lean onto your cut like. Blisters now. Good as we could hope for now, really, huh? Mm -hmm. That really isn't too bad. Yep. Everybody, think now we're gonna make a sliding door or a folding door. Hmm? Will we chance another round with this one? Uh, probably not, eh? Hmm. Don't I think so. don't think so. No, maybe the outside is even a bit punky. We take it away. Yeah.
Today, our smooth man Gabriel, the hand tool carpenter from Hawaii, who gives us a hand for the month, started a new project. I'm sure this will turn out in a great piece of furniture, making the roundhouse visitors comfortably welcome in the house. He's a smooth carpenter, after all. <laughs> Be careful before you know it, start making loads of rings again and this that and the other. Yeah, but I think we should construct the ring on there. Around, Maybe. like tie it on. Yes, yeah. and then shimmy this thing on it. We already put on half now. So you think that's a lot? Well, let's have the weight of the other one on read alone. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go, let's go. Sure you guys go up the ladder or will we do that? Will I do that? It's leaning out a bit on the right side of uh, Tom. Yeah, we now need to flip it. flip it, but it's better now that I'm Lanky Man comes up. Okay, <laughs> bring in the Lanky Man. Bring the ladder. Oh, Jesus, keep people on the ladder. Ooh, we all be going down together. <laughs> oh, flip it, but then you're crushing the reed. Yeah, but we need to flip it way higher. No, 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 no. Oh, yes! <laughs> Lanky man has to go underneath. Is he still in one piece? More or less. Can you go into the middle? Is he over it? Oh yeah, by, 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 by far, man. You need to push the top towards the, the door. Fire. Yeah, nice, nice. Thereabouts, I think, is center. Hang on, let me. We'll check from the ground, I guess. How did you do? This side looks awesome. The other side has gone down too far, the frame. And then the tip could go towards the shed. Yeah, that's pretty good. From down? Yeah. Well, well, well. There's something on it anyway. A lot of smoke going up now. That crack kind of messes with us, right? But then let's see, make sure it's the same on the other side. But that's the, now here's the opposite. Would you uh, rather have a deep ball or a wide ball? That's up to you. So this is going to be wide ball, wide. This is going to be deep ball, well, sort of. Right? <laughs> oh. Yeah! Smooth good fix! <laughs> no, 
know. Have at it. As long as we get the thing split, <laughs> it'll be it'll be good. This is Jenny. She will be taking over the communications and organization during the 60 day living experience. This looks good. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Well, actually, that's pretty clean. That's what it is. Aren't we gonna miss those clippers during the living experience? Yeah. I made a big boo-boo. We forgot the stash of scallop soaking in the river. Then the rain came. We gotta go all the way downstream to collect these. I see another one there. Retrieval. It's a bit of a loss, isn't it? But it could be worse. Are your feet wet? Uh, no, my arms are. Could be worse, so.
Nice. Oh. Hobby. Yeah. You think it'll fit? I hope so. Might be a hand job. I think so too, huh? Too bad. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Definitely doesn't look. Might look better from a distance, though. Yeah, I was about to say. Don't <laughs> <laughs> say that about anything. Good from far, but far from good. That's <laughs> no, it's it's on. It's a work in progress. So if you're on your way, is it is it uh, functional at this point? Oh yeah, because there's actually something on it, you know. Yeah. The the and this is. I don't think it, it'd be sturdy enough for. Uh, a weather warning storm but who knows it's pretty sheltered here Made with hand tools and self-harvested materials only. It's been a long journey of failure and success. And now once again we call the roof to be finished. Although she still needs a door and some cozy interior. We will have to experience now if this house is actually livable. And how well Julius and weekend warrior Dylan will adapt to being the medieval man. Stay tuned for the 60 days medieval living experience. Consider supporting this project by becoming a patron. Thanks a lot for watching.